Hey, it's Mike from The Run Testers. In this video, I'm going to be talking about this new smartwatch. So this is the Huawei Watch 3. Now, the Huawei Watch 3 is the follow-up to the Huawei Watch 2, which launched back in 2017. So back then, Huawei were first getting into smartwatches. Um, they were using Google's Android Wear, or Wear OS, as it's now known. And then it moved to its own operating system, Lite OS, and that was what was running on the Huawei Watch GT series. So myself and Nick reviewed the GT2e on the channel, um, and that was running on Lite OS. Now they're moving to something called Harmony OS, um, the Huawei Watch 3. So something a little bit different, but there's influences of Light OS in this operating system as well. So I've had this watch for a few days. I've managed to do a little bit of running with it. Um, I actually ran um, with it um, alongside the Apple Watch Series 6 um, to kind of get a sense of performance, you know, kind of in kind of the context of smartwatches and running with smartwatches. And also obviously the Apple Watch is the one we kind of consider the best smartwatch for um, runners as well. So yeah, I'm going to take you through um, what the key features are for runners, um, what it was like to run with, and yeah, give you my initial thoughts on the Huawei Watch 3. As a smartwatch, the Huawei Watch 3 runs on its new Harmony OS operating system. Now, the main benefits of this OS seem to be that it'll be able to play nicer with other Harmony OS devices that aren't smartwatches and offer a new user interface look and offer general performance improvements over its Lite OS software. It does work with Android and iPhones, but the best experience will be enjoyed when using it with an Android phone. The experience mirrors what it's like using a Huawei Watch GT series watch with an iPhone, so you won't be able to access the music features when it's paired to Apple smartphone, for instance. In terms of features, you can view notifications. There's Huawei's Celia Smart Voice Assistant. You can personalize watch faces, store your own music to listen to them offline, and there's also LTE support so you can use it untethered from your phone. Harmony OS is open platform too, which means you will be able to download third party apps. Now a host of apps have been confirmed for the platform and we managed to spot that mapping app commute will be supported. Huawei have confirmed that it does have plans to offer navigation and mapping support at a later date for the Huawei Watch 3. In terms of the Huawei Watch 3 design, you're getting a 46 mm case that's made from stainless steel and has ceramic glass on the back. There's also a pro version that offers that case in a lighter titanium alloy too. Huawei uses a curved 3D glass for the display that doesn't reach the edge of the case with a black bezel surrounding the touchscreen display. That screen measures in at 1.43 inches and it's an AMOLED screen with a 466 by 466 resolution. There's a single physical button on the bottom right edge of the case which offers a shortcut to workout tracking. Further up is a 3D rotating crown which offers tactile feedback and yes, does sound and work a lot like the digital crown on the Apple Watch. The strap is rubber that can be removed via buttons you can slide to remove from the case body. There's optional nylon woven straps and stainless steel and titanium link bracelet options available for a more formal look. So in terms of run tracking, it's one of the 17 professional workout modes available on the watch, which means it can offer more activity specific metrics than some of the other workout modes. There's also an automatic workout detection and that is covered for running too. Huawei says it's using high precision multi-mode GNSS, which supports GPS, Beidou, GLONASS, Galileo and QZSS satellite systems. This means it can help to make motion recording more reliable and motion trajectory more accurate. In terms of modes on the watch, there's outdoor run, indoor run, and the same running courses found on its GT series. These include 13 courses that cover things like easy runs, fat burning runs, and endurance runs, with explainers about what each of these runs are and how they can be beneficial for runners. For the outdoor run mode, you can set goals based on distance, time, and calories. You can set interval and heart rate and training stress reminders during runs, Choose to turn manual splits on or off, and there's a smart companion mode that lets you target a particular pace when we show you on the watch via an animation how far or ahead you are of that target pace. In that run mode, you will be able to see data like heart rate, pace, distance, time, steps, cadence, calories, ascent, and altitude information. You can also see training stress insights and the smart comparison screen if it's been enabled. In the app, you can delve deep into those performance metrics, which include aerobic training stress, anaerobic training stress, VO2 max, and recovery time. In terms of battery life, Huawei says the Watch 3 can deliver five days of battery life in smart mode, and that includes 90 minutes of GPS enabled workouts. Now there's also an ultra power saving mode which says it can deliver up to 21 days, and will still be able to manage 90 minutes of GPS tracking a week. 
Now, Huawei confusingly also talks of that smart mode lasting three days, though it still says you can get 90 minutes of GPS tracking along with using things like LTE and having heart rate monitoring enabled continuously. It also outlines a scenario where ultra long battery life can go for 14 days with the same amount of GPS tracking mentioned. So theoretically, it's anywhere from three to 21 days based on what Huawei outlines. In terms of GPS performance, now in my briefing about the Huawei Watch 3, um, Huawei did kind of make a big deal about the GPS performance on the Huawei Watch 3. And they actually mentioned the Apple Watch Series 6 in terms of how they thought they fared um, next to the Series 6. Now, I've had a really good experience with the Series 6 in terms of GPS performance. I've run with it alongside Garmin watches and Polar watches, and I've kind of gone some very on some very regular routes, and I found it very reliable. So I ran uh, with the Huawei 3 against the Series 6. Um, what I found was, the first thing I'll talk about is the kind of GPS lock-on. Now, obviously, when you get a new watch and in a new area, it takes a little bit of time to kind of, you know, clock on and get that accuracy. Now, for me in the Huawei Watch 3, um, it took me a fair amount of time, maybe three, four minutes. Um, it Before it got up to that full bar um, and kind of hit that green light or that full bar of GPS um, to make it good for me to go running. So in terms of the performance, so I've kind of looked at the, uh, the maps that these have provided. So the Apple Watch, I've kind of pushed out to Strava um, and uh, Huawei, I'm using the Huawei Health App to look at that data um, and generally the maps kind of pretty much match up there is a point around the um, kind of 6k mark when I'm coming back on myself there's a little bit in terms of difference in terms of the uh, data and in terms of the actual distance tracked the um, Apple Watch Series 6 had me at, um, just over 13k um, the um, Apple Watch 3 had me at 12.4k um, now when I hit the 10k point uh, on the Series 6 it was about half a k um, less on the um, Huawei Watch 3. So as I say, I mean, I've, I've run with the Series 6 a lot. I found it very reliable, kind of the GPS front. So from that perspective, not massively accurate or didn't really match up with the uh, Series 6. Now I'd like to do a lot more, obviously, runs with it to really have a definitive um, kind of take on it. But on that first run, the distance tracking didn't really match up. And that kind of reflects in the core running metrics that I got from those runs. So things like average pace, um, kind of a little bit slower on the um, Huawei Watch 3 compared to the um, Series 6. Um, so yeah, um, definitely want to run a little bit more on these, but on that first run, um, the Apple Watch Series 6 seems, seems to be a little bit better for me, um, I think, and I feel was a little bit more reliable in terms of tracking that run um, from a GPS perspective. So in terms of heart rate performance now, um, I've not had a great experience with Huawei watches in general, and it didn't really change or it wasn't that much different in terms of this run. So my run was kind of a steady hour, just over hour long run. Um, I ran with the uh, Apple Watch Series 6 paired to a MyZone um, external heart rate monitor. Um, and what I found comparing the data, now the graphs kind of look quite similar um, in the apps. But um, as expected, um, kind of average heart rate and uh, max heart rate were generally off um, from the chest strap. So the um, Huawei um, had a maximum of 181. Uh, the chest strap was 174. Um, the um, average on the um, Huawei Watch 3 was 168. And on the um, chest strap, it was 162. So as I said, that's kind of the experience I've had with heart rate monitors on Huawei's watches, so the Huawei Watch GT um, 2 series, all the watches I've tested um, in that range, um, where it's always a little bit higher and that max heart rate. Um, and while the graphs seem to kind of match up in terms of a heart rate monitor chest strap, it's not the kind of data that I would massively rely on. And now that was just kind of a steady run. It was quite warm conditions. Um, but it wasn't a quick run, it wasn't it, there wasn't any intervals in it. So yeah, from a heart rate and um, point of view, not fantastic. Kind of what I'm used to seeing from a Huawei watch. Um, and yeah, doesn't really or didn't really compare to a heart rate monitor chest strap uh, in my first run. So in terms of battery life now, as I mentioned, I was running with it alongside an Apple Watch Series 6. Now I didn't have these watches in always on display mode, so it's kind of raised to wake um, to kind of be able to see the stats on the screen. Um, now in terms of the Huawei Watch 3, um, there was a drop off of 20% and that was off and, and just over an hour of running. Um, on the Apple Watch Series 6, it was 8% um, 
and that was on the same amount of time. Um, I also had a MyZone um, heart rate monitor chest strap um, connected to it as well. So quite a kind of huge um, difference in terms of the uh, the battery drop off uh, in terms of GPS battery. Um, Huawei hasn't kind of stated to me what the GPS battery um, life is uh, on the Watch 3. Um, so that's something I'm going to kind of need to find out um, for the full review. Um, but yeah, in terms of that kind of one hour, just over one hour run, the Series 6 performed a lot better than the Huawei Watch 3. Um, which And it's also interesting because obviously on um, Huawei's Watch GT series, the battery, the GPS battery life seemed to hold up a little bit better. Um, and it definitely feels like there's a bit of a difference in the performance uh, on the battery life front on the Watch 3. So my verdict on the Huawei Watch 3 is, from a kind of running perspective, uh, you know, it's it's fine. I can't say that I'm being absolutely blown away by it. Um, you know, the UI and the OS, you know, from a sports tracking um, perspective, is very similar to what you get on the GT series. Now, that's not a bad thing because actually it was really nice on there. And it's I think it's good that um, Huawei's retained this. They've made some little... Kind of minor tweaks i think off the watch and in the app and how you can kind of review your information but ultimately it feels very similar um in terms of that performance kind of things like gps and heart rate and battery life um definitely need to do a bit more testing on that but the heart rate doesn't feel very different from what i've experienced in huawei um, huawei watches before and the gps a little bit off i think for me but um I'd like to do a few more runs and really see how that kind of dual GPS kind of tech that uh, Huawei's talked up kind of lives up to what they promise. Um, and then the battery life, the battery life, you know, that's something the GT series I really valued. And I think, you know, it really held up well under kind of GPS tracking. And I'm not sure I can say the same about the Huawei Watch 3, but also there is that ultra power mode that I kind of want to play around with as well. So so far, okay, not blown away, um, but I am looking forward to testing and spending a bit more time with the Huawei Watch 3 and seeing what it can offer um, runners overall. Okay, so there you have it. That is kind of my initial running thoughts on the Huawei Watch 3. Now, I will be doing a full review. I obviously got to log a fair few more runs and I will be doing that over the next few months. But if you've got any questions about this watch and um, what it's like to run with, how, you know, how some of the features work, let me know in the comments. Um, like and subscribe as always, hit that bell for the uh, latest videos and yeah, see you for the next Run Testers video.